For the second straight day, protesters poured onto the streets of Bahrain and beyond to denounce the execution of the firebrand cleric, Sheikh Nimr al-Nimr. He was put to death on Saturday along with 46 men convicted of terrorism charges, many of whom were accused of being involved in al-Qaeda killings. But supporters of the Shiite Sheikh denied he was involved in any of the violence that erupted in Saudi Arabia in 2011, which led to his detention the following year. The Saudi dictatorial regime, with what it did to this big symbol and warrior of ours, it removed the curtain and the Saudi mask that wants to cover crimes in the entire Islamic world. Protests continued across the Middle East on Sunday, in Saudi Arabia itself, Pakistan, Indian Kashmir and Lebanon. In Iraq, protesters burned a portrait of the king of Saudi Arabia. The Saudi royal family, by executing Sheikh al-Nimr Nimr, opened the gates of hell for their rule and their power. Iran called the cleric's execution a mistake that would haunt the kingdom. And the supreme leader said the country would face divine retribution. Early Sunday morning, a mob set fire to the Saudi embassy in Tehran and ransacked it before dozens were arrested. By Sunday evening, Saudi Arabia severed diplomatic ties with Iran and said Iranian diplomatic personnel had 48 hours to leave the country.